1988 marks the 20th anniversary of Hot Wheels. And in my year by year Hot Wheels collection videos, here we have my entire collection, almost every car released in 1988 by Mattel for the Hot Wheels lineup, with the exception of only a few extremely rare variations, which I will make note of as we go through this video. I also have some really interesting playset cars and variations of those that are quite hard to find as well as the matching playset complete mint in the box never played with which we will look at as well some rare variations still in the packaging to make note of as well as some extremely rare variations out of the packaging such as this Larry Woods personal collection vehicle that I was able to acquire on eBay some time ago and some other really interesting variations such as this Nissan 300ZX with ultra hot wheels and many others to discuss that are noteworthy in 1988 Hot Wheels Real Riders were completely discontinued from the lineup however some new and interesting 20th anniversary cars were released in Hot Wheels 3 packs of the time those were these gold and silver polish finished cars and trucks exclusive to a three car set that featured two regular mainline vehicles often released in years prior to 1988 however you were sure to get one of these awesome vehicles with the stamping cast right into the base or body of the vehicle showing the 20th anniversary logo for Hot Wheels some of these have rare variations we will make note of other vehicles released in 1988 were of course the Action Command vehicles workhorses Speed Demons, Speed Fleet, and Classics. Like the Hot Wheels 3 car packs featuring the exclusive chrome vehicle, the 20th Anniversary 20 car gift pack featured exclusive vehicles as well as a mixture of new released vehicles from 1988 as well as some seen in previous years. The noteworthy exclusive vehicle, if you could find it in the pack, was this Turbo Streak with the 20th Anniversary logo on the side. Also these packs frequently featured several, one or two at least, of the chrome vehicles found in the three car exclusive packs. Here we have a 540K and a chrome monster vet. As for the turbo streak with the Tampo, there is a variation known to exist that I have both of here. One featuring the large 20th anniversary versus the smaller 20th anniversary. So far as font size goes, you can see the comparison in a side by side of the vehicles here. The other Turbo Streak released in 1988 was a second annual Hot Wheels convention piece for Long Beach, California and is a very limited quantity. This one came straight from Larry Wood's collection. On the reverse side of this 20 car gift pack you can see there's a little note about celebrating 20 exciting years with Hot Wheels as well as a diagram showing several of the vehicles released through 1988 Again, some of these cars were seen in years prior as well. As an advertisement as for the Speed Shift 500 playset, which I have right here. This is the reverse side of the Speed Shift 500 playset. On the side of the box panel, there are images of other features of this playset, including the carport and garage, the stick shift power boosters, which were used to power the vehicles through, not battery-powered motors, and the jumping feature. This image showing two tampo list versions of the cars that were released with this set. And now for the Hot Wheels identification guide of all cars released in 1988. Names as per Mattel. Let's start with the 3 Window 34, 57 T Bird, 65 Mustang, 80s Firebird. Three variations there. Alien. Blown Camaro. Cobra 427. Porsche 911. Three variations. Porsche 959. Shadow Jet. Sheriff Patrol. Solaire CX4. Split Window 63 Street Beast also known as Race Bait 308 Tailboat Leo Thunder Streak 
Tricar X8, Nissan 300ZX, Turbo Streak, three variations, and the Blazer 4x4. Porsche 959, Ferrari Testarossa, Combat Medic, also known as the Delivery Van, Ferrari Testarossa, Firebird Funny Car, Mercedes 540K, Monster Vet, and finishing up the Chrome series of 20th anniversary, Tall Rider, Radar Ranger, three variations, Assault Crawler, Sting Rod, multiple variations here, and then multiple variations of the Roll Patrol, also known as the Jeep CJ7. Combat Medic, Rocket Tank, Big Bertha, Highway Hauler, Fire Eater, Rescue Ranger, Flame Stopper, Fangster, Ratmobile, and Rodzilla. In my previous year-by-year -year videos, I have gone in-depth into pricing and whatnot of these cars. However, I have found lately it is becoming quite variable, especially when cars are from the Larry Woods collection or other collectors, whether they be packaged or unpackaged, mint in the card or otherwise. Here I have two examples of the three window 34. The upper example, which I have loose, has small rear wheels, whereas a rarer, or at least from what I understood at the time of collecting, a harder to find variation has the large rear wheels on the back of the car. Here you can see that variation. So that's one of the variations that I don't have loose for you in both examples. Another variation, which is much harder to find, is of the little old Tricar X8. This one that is loose has a red metal base. An extremely hard variation to find has a yellow metal base. Very hard to find. These cars came from the Trent Steel Collection, which was auctioned off over the last couple of years in 2018 and previous. Not such a rare variation, but at the time I thought it was. Not this one here with the uh, off-road construction tires. Also equally as commonly found nowadays with the large black wall wheels. At the time, this one was a hard one for me to find. Now I am considering opening the package if it weren't in such nice condition so I can put both of these vehicles side by side on my loose collection wall. A hard vehicle to find for me when I was looking for it was this yellow fire eater. Still much harder to find than the red fire eater of the similar era, or at least the same year in this case. The yellow fire eater will remain on card for me as it is a perfect card, and it is to this day still a fairly difficult vehicle to find in mint condition. Then we've got the Alien. Red and blue. The red alien was released many years after 1988, well into the 90s. The blue version was only released in 1988. The only difference being was the plastic canopy portion of the body, anyways, was blue, not red. I do have another example of that one, mint on the card, and that one will stay as such. An interesting variation of the Lamborghini Countach, I've noted was this all-white, no-tampo version, which, as far as I can tell, was only released in 1988. However, in many years following, it would feature various tampos on the white paint job, nowadays easily removed with uh, modern forging techniques, if you wanted to make this example. This car in itself is not overly expensive to buy, just very hard to find in an authentic, no-tampo version. An extremely hard car to find, however it has come up a couple times in the last year, is this ultra hot wheel version of the Nissan 300ZX. Commonly found with gold hot one wheels, quite difficult to find with ultra hots. I remember spending close to $200 for this example. I have seen it sell for significantly less in recent times. All goes to show you supply and demand. 
these cars will always be hard to find. These 20th anniversary turbo streaks were kind of not noticed so much. More of a common vehicle, easily damaged and heavily played with. And these variations quite subtle as far as the tampos go that I mentioned previously. This one took me eight years to find before buying it up from the Larry Wood collection when its first inceptions are being auctioned off in 2018. Another interesting car that was quite hard for me to find at the time was this 65 Mustang in black. The only year it released with this paint job was 1988. And at the time, this was a $20 car. It may still well cost you that if you can find one. Interesting variations for the blown Camaro. One has a lighter pink tampo, the other a darker kind of mauve tampo. Much darker blue windows, lighter blue windows on this one. They both have the same base. No, they don't. One says 74 blown Camaro. The other has that stamped over. It is quite possible that this version with the stamp over is from the early 1990s as this car did carry through. However, considering this vehicle first came out in 1988 with the gold Hot One wheels, I decided to put these two cars together not knowing for certain when this other vehicle was released. It's still interesting to have them side by side. The white wall and black wall versions of the Mercedes 540K in black enamel Black wall is harder to find. These are not overly expensive cars, but still interesting to note. Soul Air CX-4. Two variations to note here. One has the, the wing that is raised with a transparent or open cavity underneath. The other one is molded right to the casting. They both have the opening engine shroud. This one with the open area of the cowling or spoiler is harder to find in my experience and henceforth I have not been able to find a mint one as yet not even on package whereas this one I've been able to find over and over again without much trouble the Talbo Leo commonly found in white less commonly found in burgundy that's all I have to say for that Ferrari Testarossa from the place that you see in the background Speed Shift 500 two variations that exist very minor Let's see if we can zoom in without blur on the front right of the cowling or bumper you can see this one has long long lines I can't read it anyways I can't remember what I'm reading here so that one has that this one does not that's a known variation other than that no difference not much difference in price nobody knows about that stuff anyways what else we got Black Porsche 911 with gold black wall wheels. Pretty tough to car to find. And then we've got this interesting variation of the Porsche 911. Same car. One with the gold black wall wheels. Same tampos on the side. The other with chrome. The gold black wall wheels version does not have the 95. Can't remember which one was harder to find, but that's a notable variation there. Not one that can be reproduced. So quite a worthwhile one. The Shadow Jet. Commonly found with the purple mauve F3 and intercooled on the rear fin. Otherwise the same as this one. Except F3 is printed in blue. Much harder to find. Much harder. When it comes to the delivery van or combat medics. This one with the stamped... Um, ribs in the side of the vehicle this one is smooth much harder to find with the uh, ribbed sides on this vehicle in the old historical price guides I had from years ago worth twice as much as this one both these vehicles fairly hard to find in mint condition such as these but this one should be harder to find supposedly I have never seen one in real life but there is a version of this with the CT wheels, the uh, off-road CT wheels, larger style. Not these regular CT wheels. I don't even have an example here for you, but yes, I do. Over here on the Radar Ranger. This Corvette was available with these wheels according to the old original Hot Wheels Collectors website from 2008. 
there was an actual picture of it. I've never actually seen one for sale, but I don't doubt that it existed, just very rare. Uh, more things of interest. As you noted, there's many variations of the Radar Ranger, one with black hub wheels, one with chrome, and one with these uh, more modern construction tires. All fairly easy uh, customs to make once the vehicle's opened. Not really worth the time and trouble, they're not really overly valuable vehicles. But interesting variations to collect if you know what you have and you aren't looking to customize them. As far as the sting rods go, multiple variations here. Same thing, different wheels, that's about it. Same prices for both of these in both formats. Really cool vehicle based on a Nissan 300ZX. All modified, armored up, and covered in bristling weapons. Heavy duty car. Always one of my favorite cars growing up as a kid, and definitely the first car I picked out of the playset or play case when I started playing with my Hot Wheels. The Roll Patrol, also known as the Jeep CJ7, in its more civilian form, which came in this year in both yellow and white. Roll Patrol had numerous variations. I'm still missing at least one or two of them. This one has the unpainted base, black interior. This one has the black interior, yet a painted yellow base. Both have black wall wheels. And then we have a, a painted base variation, black wall wheels, and a beige interior. So there's three variations with the black wall wheels. And we'll leave those three aside because I simply can't hold more than three in my hand. Then we have the variations with the off-road construction tire wheels. At first glance they look the same but hopefully the camera's picking up there's a significant difference in interior color which extends to the rear spare wheel. One is a tan color the other is more body colored which is kind of like a beigey tan otherwise these vehicles are the same. Other variations do exist but not very many and none that I've ever actually been able to find. What else have we got? The Ratmobile. Hard variation to find with the silver Hot One wheels. Commonly found with the Ultra Hot Wheels. Basically not worth more than 50 cents to a dollar. This one slightly more if you can find an authentic version. Really hard variations to find here of the Rodzilla. One is quite dusty but that doesn't change the fact that the plastic on Rodzilla's head is a light purple compared to the dark purple of this Rodzilla. What a cool car. There is another notable difference in the base. You can quickly see the bases are painted two completely different colors of purple. A third variation does exist, which I do not have, again with variations of purple. No other variation. Uh, that's pretty well wrapping it up, I think. I do have these cars here as well. These are possibly from France. Um... The Thunder Streak and mm, can't remember the name of this one. It's a variation of the Thunder Streak. The only difference really being is the high fin. But uh, just some added 1988 cars featuring the 18 Craco Tampo, which is found on the common mainline car, of course, Thunder Streak, which is the same exact casting of this uh, European car, just with a completely opposite paint job, red instead of blue couple final notes the 80s Firebird at first glance both cars appear the same one's got some foggy windows from obviously being immersed in some water during its play days but one has gold black wall center wheels the other has chrome the gold black wall wheel version is slightly hard to find the blue version with the gold black wall wheels not that hard to find apparently there is a chrome black wall wheel version which I have never seen it would be an easy custom to make Therefore, it is not on my hunt list. And as for the Corvette Stingray, this is the first year it would feature the gold uh, Hot One wheels. In past, it would feature the same paint job and tampos, but with the black wall chrome-centered wheels. So that's the difference with that car, in case you're wondering why it looks so familiar. Hard cars to find. One last one here. The Race Bait 308 in red with the gold centered black wall wheels fairly difficult car to find in mint condition 
much easier to find a silver version even with the gold black wall wheels even more common would be this car from previous years with silver black wall wheels and of course even though it was probably produced in mass quantities the nasa highway hauler was a very popular truck to this day for numerous collector reasons and always commands a premium price if you can find one in mint condition so therefore it is worth noting I hope you enjoyed this Hot Wheels year by year video for 1988 and found it uh, to be somewhat educational or informative or in any way helpful in your collecting if it was please leave me a comment or a question I would be happy to respond Thanks for watching my videos, and as always, happy hunting.